Monitoring data on SonicCloud is represented as a graph. To find the graph, first select the area for which you wish to look at, then click on the point for which you wish to see a graph of. On the graph page, we will first see the name of the point. We will also see a battery icon with, for applicable points showing the battery charge status as well as the signal strength. We can also see a link to add a point to the favorite section on the dashboard. When loading a graph on Sonic Cloud, the default view will be day, which is the last 24 hours worth of check-ins from when we open the graph. We can easily look at the last hour, the last week, or the last calendar month by clicking these options here, or you can input a custom date range in the fields below. Moving down to the graph, we first see the shadow bar. This is a shadow representation of the data that's in the graph. You can use the shadow bar to zoom in on the data by dragging the icons from each end in. Then once you have that set to a smaller size, you can grab and hold the shaded section and slide it along the line to help you analyze the data. You can also zoom in on the graph by clicking and highlighting the section of the graph. As soon as you let go, it will automatically zoom in on the highlighted section. Once you're done viewing the smaller size for the graph, you can reset your default times, you can reset a new custom time, or you can simply drag the icons back out to the edge. Here we have the graph options. I can download this graph as an image file. I can print the graph. I could export the raw data into a spreadsheet, or I can annotate directly on the graph. Looking at the data in the graph itself, we see the blue bubble that moves along the line showing the reading for what for the check-in we are currently looking at. For example, the check-in we are currently viewing was recorded at 73.6 degrees. And if we follow the line down to the bottom, we will see that this check-in happened on April 1st, 2024 at 2200 hours or, or 10 p.m. All check-ins on Sonic Cloud are represented on, on a 24 hour clock as opposed to showing a.m. and p.m. We can also see where the data is running in relation to where our alarm thresholds are set. Our alarms are set to alarm where the red line exists and our cautions are set where the yellow lines exist. Typically, typically on Sonic Cloud, points that are outside of the caution but inside of the alarm threshold will not generate an alarm and points that are outside of the alarm threshold for a period of 35 minutes will typically generate an alarm.